Hello everyone, this is Bethany from Southern Couture and I am so excited to be here with you today to share my devotional setup for the newest Yes and Amen studio study called Fallen, the Perils of the Church. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open up. As you can tell, I guess you can assume now that my setup is in an A5 binder. And here we have it. <laughs> so this is such a fun and gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous design. Um, the content is not going to be a happy, happy, you know, it may be a kick in the gut study. And that is uh, perfectly fine, right? That is something that... We really need to have in this world right now to get us back on our knees and where we need to be in line with the Holy Spirit and uh, just uproot all that junk out of our hearts, any places that may be in a fallen state. And we're going to talk more about what that fallen means um, a little bit with the intro card and then also as you go through the study. So I hope you guys are going to join. First of all, let me just say thank you, thank you, thank you to Janet for letting me um, be a small, small part and and the fact that I'm able to share my setup with you guys and um, help you and answer any questions that you may have. I'm so thankful for um, being able to do that and for um, her letting me um, share. Second of all, I'm thankful that she has followed the leading of the Holy Spirit in doing this study and that it is such a um, God-ordained thing, and I'm so thankful for that. And so if you are not familiar with these studies, I encourage you, make sure that you follow Janet at Top Knots and Jesus on Instagram. Also, there is now a Instagram page just for the studies that are now under Yes and Amen Studio. All of that became official with this study. This is our fourth one of the year that she has led in the Facebook group. And so I'm going to leave a link down below to the Instagram page for this study and also the Facebook group, which are all Yes and Amen Studio. And so you can check those out. Make sure you join. If you don't have Facebook, the Instagram page is brand new. So make sure you follow it. That's hopefully a way to include you guys more that aren't on Facebook. And then definitely head down below in the description there's a link to yesandamenstudio.com where you can grab your printables now i'm going to be showing you how i have everything of mine set up but what's really amazing is that you get the devotional set with the devotional um, cards some scripture cards there is um some ephemera there are ta uh, tags there are um the tags are a freebie there are tabs <laughs> it's a mouthful there are patterned papers um there are titles all sorts of things that you get included in the um, bundle and so make sure you go grab those from her site so you can join in as well now if you want to know more detail about the intent and all of the, um, you know, story behind this study. If you go to the, if you're in the Facebook group, the live and all of that will be there. You can see it. But on Instagram, she did a live that show, uh, shared all of that information. And so it's on her Instagram page and you can check it out so that you will um, have kind of that background because I don't want to spend too much time, um, you know, when she's already expressed that and I couldn't do it like she does because it is her um, study that she has written and um, also she talks about the intent behind all of the images and the beautiful pictures that you are going to see throughout this entire study I'll just give you a little peek like um, some of the images and the pictures that are in here so that gives you just a little peek real quick to see each one has been done with such intention that she talks about that and I think it's really important for you to understand that part of it too as you work through so make sure you check out that video but let's just go ahead and dive in now I could talk all day about it because I think it's so gorgeous um, but I want to give you some ideas and here's the first thing I want to say before I start is that if you are not doing an A5 setup, if you're doing an album ring type of flip book, if you are doing a cinch book, if you are doing a, um, you know, something simple in a TN or any kind of little mini journal, what is great about this setup that I'm going to show you are there are tons of ideas that you can use in any setup. So don't be discouraged if you think I'm not doing A5, I wish I had. It is okay. Do what works for you. Use what you have on hand in your stash. And believe it or not, I have everything that I use today I already have at home. I even went to Hobby Lobby and did not buy one thing. If you can believe that, I don't know how it happened, but it did. <laughs> and so I just want to encourage you, don't feel like you need all the things. Look at what you have. <coughs> Excuse me. 
look at what you have and go from there, okay? And that is perfectly fine. But this is an A5 binder that I already had at home. If you don't have one, though, I do know that um, some people in the group have been talking about supplies. And this is one thing they mentioned is that these A5s are on sale at Hobby Lobby. So I saw them at my store for like... Uh, on clearance tons of different designs I think they were six dollars at mine as well and so if you are wanting one you know there are ways to get one you know at a very reasonable price so I do encourage you to check that out if you are interested so what I love about this one you've got the little pockets on the back and the front where you can put things um, in there and then I have just some real basic elements that go along with it that I've put over here first like some of the ephemeras from the kits these are some little goodies that were sent to me that will match perfectly with this study I had some little tags and things um, other pieces from the kit these are from my stash already from our lint study that match and so then I just made this little card down here to put um, in that little clear pocket so I would know exactly what study this was for and so if you wanted to reuse this later you could definitely take all these little extra elements out um, but I love that this one you guys know I love spotty dot obviously and this worked perfectly the colors match beautifully the cover does with the design and I love that black and white with the pops of color. So you may see first thing, what is this? So these are some little pieces of um, colored vellum that I found in my stash. And I just thought, I love these. And I love that they almost look like a little paint swatch um, when they're all together like a little ring. And so I'm telling you, just something simple. I put them together and stacked them the way I wanted them to look. Because, you know, they change color depending how you layer them. Punched a hole, put this... Um, thread or whatever you want to call it through there and tied it on just for like a really fun and simple embellishment and I love that. Um, I love using these muted you know vellum mat to go along with this whole fallen and what we are talking about in this study. So that's just something fun a little tag thing hanging there that's what that's all about. Um, this ribbon I put on a clip just to have something fun to embellish the cover with. This F I know y'all are going to be like what is that? It is just a pin so I'll show you this real quick. It is a pin um, that I got at Hobby Lobby on clearance and um, I loved it. So I thought, how fun would that be to put on there for um, effort? And that was at Hobby Lobby a while back. Like I said, I did not buy anything this last trip. <laughs> I promise. But um, anyways, I thought that would be cute to put on there for Fallen, obviously. So just look at this gorgeous design. Everything is so beautiful. Um, so first of all, I put mine back to back. You could print them and fold them and put them over. I did. I had already cut them out, so I just um, put an adhesive uh, roller or runner and then, you know, adhered them back to back um, in order to have it, uh, you know, just less pages and it, I'm telling you it gets bulky so fast so that helps um, and then um, this gives you a whole intro to the uh, study which I'll just talk about real quick it says the term fallen does not fall easy on the heart like I told you this is not going to be one of those nice frilly studies right and so it talks about how there are six things we will discuss about the current fallen state identity character which you can see here faith church, spirit, and world. We're going to go through those over the next six weeks. And so that will tell you more about the study. It tells you about the layout, how things are organized with the stand and, and how that goes into each one. So one thing I did on the next page that so you see is I have this page. I just cut all mine out, extra pages I put in here to fit the same size of these um, title cards and the card for each week's um, devotional content. And so on this one, I wanted a place to kind of have where I know what the six are and what order we're going to be working through them. Um, you know, I have put these little boxes out here that I just wrote in with a pen so I can check those off or whatever as we go. If I want to use just a fun, different assortment of the um, alpha stickers to put the, the titles on there. Added a little fun mini um, paper clip from Tim Holtz I thought would be cute. And then as you'll see as we go through, I have just embellished with different stickers, puffy stickers, little mini ones that I had. And I wanted to tab up here at the top so I can see that that was where my title page was um, or a, you know, a kind of like a table of contents page in a way and then at the back I've got another one if you'll see right there and that is for the prayer at the end I like to start each study with a prayer at the beginning as you'll see here and then a prayer at the end and that's what that other tab at the top is for so this one here I have a um, little vellum pocket that I had on hand from some packaging and I just put some um, Punched it with a um, hole punch, put some of that thread through there, 
And then on um, the inside, I have a piece of patterned paper that I wrote a prayer out on, of course, put it in there. I love that you can see it come through some, but it's a prayer, you know, that I wrote to the Lord. And so I wanted it to be, um, you know, somewhat kind of hidden inside of that. And so then just put some alpha stickers. This was a vellum heart that I had in my stash, and I love how that overlaid on that. It looks so cute. And all of these gold foil accents are so beautiful. A lot of the papers I had in my stash, or they're the papers that came with the uh, printable set. So then, as we go in through each one, you will see I have six tabs here on the sides for each of the themes that I've already mentioned. I'm not going to go through every page so specifically as I am with the first one, because I've laid out every single theme and section in the same way as this first one and so I will show you that oh excuse me I will show you that in more detail and then I will um, just flip through the rest of the pages so you can see it so for the first one we have this little card here and I put a small card because I thought it would be fun just to have like a dashboard, a marker, something there to show you what are we talking about next. So we've got identity. These are titles that come in the um, book or in the printables. And then I cut mine. I believe these are like a little over two inches um, by seven inches. And then um, put this little gold embellishment that I have there. And then on the back, I have a one. So I know which week we're on that this would be week one. This is some printable vel uh, that I uh, vellum that I printed on using the patterned papers from the um, printables that you get. And so I will leave a link down below as well for the vellum that I use um, that you can print on. And I just love that. So I don't have all the vellum in here yet printed. I'm going to have to print some more of the other patterned papers. And I'm going to have those over each um, section like this, kind of like a fun little divider. And I can't wait to do that. I think that will be such a fun little extra element to, you know, just elevate it. So your first one here is identity theft, and I did not come up with this idea to cut open these doors. This I totally got from um, Andy, and a lot of you know her. I will leave her Instagram down below, but I thought it was so fun, and so I had to do that. So I cut those so that they could be opened. And I put in here this little heart sticker, and the reason behind that is because identity theft, identity, you know, where, what is it in our heart? What is it that comes out of our heart what kind of attitude what kind of identity are we living and has our heart been stolen has that been taken and so I wanted to have that there very intentionally placed and then I have a clip up here that I may move as I go through to keep my place as well um, then you'll see on the back of each title page you get these um, like a title card for each one that's beautiful and then devotional content on a separate card and then I just stuck those together again and um, then for each week you get your devotional main card and then you get these smaller I believe they're four by four cards five by seven and then four by fours and so I just punched them to kind of get them layered in here I didn't want them to be covering each other up completely because you'll see they have such beautiful images and photography I wanted that to peek back behind this one so then I put the card breach of spiritual spiritual security I put the content that goes with it and of course just put those back to back then inside each section after my content devotional I have a card that I did five by seven now these are large journaling cards that come in your uh, printables and so there are six of them so I've got one for each section and then on the back I did some patterned papers that I had of my own that I put on the back of it that um, I thought would be fun that coordinated so you could definitely get these if you wanted it I just love writing a lot of notes and things like that so I wanted it to be front and back so you could definitely print these off twice and you would have 12, which would give you enough. But I did have the pattern papers that I wanted to use in my stash that went along with it well. So that's what I did. And then you'll see I've just added fun little elements. And then um, because we're over here, I'm like, I need a little marker for identity to show that's the section. So I printed out some more of the titles and put that there. And then this is a fun little floral black and white um, like card, plastic card. If you can believe it, my A5, um, you know, six ring punch it punched it no problem I was impressed I didn't think it would work but it did and then I just put a little embellishment there um I thought that was so fun and uh that's that's all I did on this one I loved how it turned out it's not got any kind of real purpose I just think it's really fun and cute as you're flipping through uh to see it in there and also as I'm talking about the punch I will leave a link down below as well for the punch that I used or for one similar um if you don't have one and you want to use this kind of setup because it makes it so easy okay so now 
here we go, first section, you got your content, you have a page to write notes. What I love too about the ring is if I need more note pages, I can stick those in. And then over here, at the end of each section after notes, I have made a special page just for a prayer for each week. I love doing prayer pockets for in camp when we work through that. I did some prayers through BU for every single page and day. So I thought it would be fun to have a prayer as I wrap up this theme of identity and this identity theft to be able to write a prayer over here. So these tags that you see here, this is one of the pattern tags that comes as a freebie. So make sure you check those out. And what I did was I had these vellum tags already and they were a little larger, so I just trimmed it down to fit. It's not perfect, but it's all right. And then I had these decorative brads and I just punched holes through and put it through, um, not both sides, because I don't want it sticking through on this one, just on the top page. And then all I have to do is just flip this one up. I can write my prayer on here and put this back down. Again, I like having the vellum over it, so my prayer is still there. It's easy for me to flip and see it, but it's somewhat also hidden. And I love that element as I worked through this. And so I thought that was so fun to do. Gotta have the leopard. I thought that was cute. <laughs> so that is my um, basic layout for each section, but I'll go ahead and flip through so you can kind of see some things I did. If you want to use any of these ideas, Please feel free, okay? You're not copying. I know um, you may think, oh, I want to not copy, but I, I want you to be, you know, inspired and use these ideas and make them better if you want. Now, lovers of themselves for character. So, lovers of themselves. I automatically thought of these when I opened this selfies, right? Our character. Oh, me. So, I put this little camera I found in this, this photo booth. I thought that was fun um, to put in that for that topic. And then, again, just put my cards in there. And we're talking about lovers of ourselves. And so I had this fun, these fun little, they're like mirrored stickers. and Or not stickers, but these little mirrored discs. And I used mine in here. Um, and I thought, how fun. I've got to have that there as we're talking about um, lovers of themselves and characters. And what do we see in the mirror, you know? So I put that there for that as a fun little reminder. And then, of course, we've got another note card there, a place to put our prayer. Now, if that's dark to write on, I'm okay. Because like I said, I want my prayer. It doesn't have to be something that stands out visibly, you know, to read. And then as I go through, excuse me, I just add different um embellishments and elements that I have and I may add more as I go through but for now this is a great place um, to get started with it and then here's a fun thing if you have some little fun like I thought this was such a fun little card and it had something else written so I put this word Fetty over it and because it's round it may be difficult to have put it over here so I just took a piece of pattern paper and punched it added it there and then on the back had that one and I loved that I thought that was fun Another place for some notes, of course. I loved doing this. Now, I love this combo. Look how cute this is. This color with this black and white, your vellum, and then this black uh, clear sticker laid right on top. Gorgeous. Probably one of my favorite tags. I thought that was so fun. And then, of course, some fun leopard in that orange. I thought that was so cute, too. And then over here, I just put this fun clip. This could be a clip that uh, someone actually, one of you gave that to me. So thank you very much. You know who you are. And um, I think that would be fun to move that one along too, to kind of keep my place at where I'm at. But for now, I just have it in here. And then um, more cards. Another little fun. Um, and look how fun. You can put the elements on top of the vellum. And it looks like it's made into the one behind it. And then when you move it. So I just loved all of the layering going on here. The pattern papers in this um, set are gorgeous as well and um, I loved this now look how fun to play on these uh, fruits fruits of the spirit quenching the spirit and look I had these fun little fruit puffy stickers so I thought how fun to use those there and then we're almost to the back and you'll see the rest of it another one of those I just thought that was fun going in that little place right there and these butterflies are gorgeous I love those and I use butterflies for a reason, and I'll talk about that in just a second. But um, so much fun stuff in here, and I love having that kind of theme throughout of why I did that. Um, this one's probably my favorite card. How about that tile floor? I think that's gorgeous. <laughs> okay, so I'm almost to the end. Another fun, clear floral sticker there. And so this would be the last one. This would be where I would put the prayer for that sixth theme of world. And then, look at that. I'm obsessed with that paper. I think that's so pretty. Um, but on the very last one, this is my ending prayer pocket. And so, 
I have this really fun, beautiful wooden butterfly that a dear friend sent. So thank you very much. And um, it is gorgeous. So the reason I wanted that butterfly here and the theme is that having it at the end and the butterfly going from something like a caterpillar and transforming into something beautiful as a butterfly, I want, as we all, and I'm praying for all of us as we work through fallen, that we go from this fallen state, that we go, we uproot all of the junk, we get it out, and we are transformed, we are redeemed by the blood of Jesus, that he and the Holy Spirit work within our heart to transform us into something beautiful and pure, in his sight and so that is my reason for this butterfly I think it's so fun to have that as a reminder in there every time when I'm flipping through and I see the other butterflies and having one right here at the very end is so special and so then inside of it I just took some pattern paper that I folded over and attached to make a little pocket on this page and then I've got a little card here how fun to use this um black tag and write with like a white pen. I think that would be really cute, really fun. And then I've got a prayer to end it. I also have study buddy that I want to also include in here in a prayer as well. And so I'll put more tags or cards in there as I go. And then that is it. That would be the very end of my setup. And so I just, I love how it turned out. I couldn't be happier. Um, every little design element though that we have in here as we go through, I think is what gets me and what is so amazing because everything is done so intentionally. And I can't wait to dive into Fallen and just start digging through the goodness and this meat that is here. Um, I will say one more time, I'm going to be adding more vellum, hopefully, to each section. And I think that'd be fun just to kind of give it something right there to layer between this card and, like, you know, the busyness and patterns and kind of break it up. Um, what's fun is when that vellum, vellum's flipped over, it's still gorgeous, and you can see both sides of that design. So, so much fun there. And then as I go, I think it would be fun also, I wanted to mention, is if I needed more space, like I was saying, for um, places to um, have notes and things like that, you could also do a note card and then maybe even or have these cards right here with the giant journaling cards and then have another five by seven put in here and maybe have it with a pocket that you could put cards down in for extra notes. Or if you are like me and you like to write out the scripture references in here, there are a lot of scripture references. And so this is not going to give me enough room. So that's something I may do as well is take some cards and write the scriptures out and stick them in here. And I may not make another whole page. I may just hold punch and put them in here so I love that with this setup it's very very versatile um, with album rings you could do that with the T and you could put it in as a tip in and so that's just another thought if you are doing something like that it is so doable even though I'm doing a five feel free to use these ideas and run with them and make them work for whatever setup that you have most important if you do not do any kind of setup I want to say this because it's very very important if you do not have any kind of setup, if you do not do anything fancy, nothing with paper crafting, that is okay. And that is more than okay. Because here's the deal. Get your devotionals, your printables, print them off, and just cut them out. Look through them. If you don't want to cut them out and you're looking at them digitally on your phone or your iPad, here's the most important part. Get your Bible out and read Read the content, read the scriptures, and don't worry about all the pretty stuff. Yes, it's fun. It's enjoyable. I love it. But what I love about these studies and what Janet has encouraged all along is that we get several weeks ahead of the study to prep, get all this part ready, and then dive into the Word. And so come October when we begin, all of this is done, and you can focus just on the content. Now... I'm going to be doing that. All of this is set up. I'm going to focus on content. A lot of times what I like to do is after we're done with the content, I like to go back and do a journaling entry in my journaling Bible for each, like I'll do one for each thing. I did that for in count for each week. I picked a scripture that really stood out to me or spoke to me and I did a journaling entry on it. For BU, I did one for each letter after the study was complete and um, I had really wanted my focus to be on the meat and not in the word and not getting into the journaling in my Bible. And if that journaling in my Bible did not happen, it didn't happen, but this part did. And that was the important part for me. And so I encourage you to do the same. Then when it's finished, you can go and you can do it as really ever 
of view and a, and just a way to really mark your heart with that again by picking those verses that stood out to you and doing them in a fun journaling entry, but keeping that for the end and not letting it take the priority. So I just wanted to encourage you with that word. I didn't realize I was going to say all of that about it, but I think it's important to do that um, as well. Now, if you have any questions at all, please, please, please do not hesitate to ask. You can um, leave them down in the comments. You can message me on Instagram, Facebook, however, and I would love to help you out with anything that you have a question with. Let me know, too, what setup you may be doing. I would love to hear that. It's always a lot of fun to hear other ideas, setups, things that you guys come up with that I would never think of are so creative, and I love seeing those as well and hearing about them. Um, but anyways, I will see you guys again very, very soon. I cannot wait to start with following with all of you, and I'll see you over each on the Instagram account or on the Facebook group and um, make sure you are subscribed. You click that bell icon so you know when the next video is coming out and I will see y'all then. All right, have a great one. Bye-bye.